Welcome to the 66th Holy Convocation of the Bible Way Church of our Lord Jesus Christ Worldwide. Our theme for this Holy Convocation is Adjust to Advance. We extend our heartfelt appreciation to our esteemed presiding bishop, Apostle Michael J. Rogers for his unwavering guidance and leadership. We also acknowledge and appreciate all the members of the Presidium who have worked tirelessly to make this event possible. We are particularly excited to hear from our distinguished speaker tonight, Mother Barbara A. Dunham who is the President of the International Missionary Department. The 66th Holy Convocation. Adjust to advance. Want to be where you are. Won't you worship the Lord with me on this evening?
for the word of God. For the word declares that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word, my eternal word shall stand forever. At this time, we prepare to hear from our international president, our mother, our mother uh, Dunham, and people call her bad, and yes, mother Barbara Ann Dunham. And we bless the Lord because she has been a leader Amen for us. Amen. As our mother Mitchum said, not only for our missionaries now, but also with our uh, women's council. So we want to stand on our feet at this time. We want to receive the woman of God. We want to sit within our tent doors. We want to receive what God has for us tonight. Praise God. So let's receive ye her in Jesus name. Come on, let's give the Lord another hand praise. Come on, let's give God another hand praise. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And I don't know about you, but I'm rejoicing. And I'm glad just to be found in the number one more time. Why? Because he did not have to do it, but he did. Somebody laid down last night, can't answer the call of their name. What God has done. He's brought us to this place. He's brought us to this time. And we give him glory for all that he's done in the name of Jesus. I don't know about you, but I feel good down in my sanctified soul. Because if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, COVID would have taken me out. If it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, Diabetes would take me out if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side. Hallelujah. So many different diseases could take me out, but thank me to God. Hallelujah. I stand here in victory today. Hallelujah, because he is a mighty God. Hallelujah. And yes, Elder Darby, great is his faithfulness unto me. Hallelujah, I've gotten to an age where my eyes are not working too right, but I can still say morning by morning, new mercies I do see. Morning by morning, new mercies I do see. Morning by morning, new mercies I do see. Hey, God, hallelujah. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, 
God, we thank you just for another day. Hallelujah, that you have brought us together. We thank you for your presence in this place. In the name of Jesus, because in your presence is the fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there is pleasures forevermore. God, we glorify you. Now, God, we pray that you bless your word. In the name of Jesus, let nothing be said for vain glory, but only that your name might be glorified this night. In the name of Jesus. Us. We do pray and we say amen, amen, and amen. We bless the Lord tonight and we're grateful for just another opportunity just to share with you these free, free moments. We praise God because certainly protocol has already been set, but we do honor our presiding prelay in the person of Apostle Michael J. Rogers Sr. We honor our chief apostle for life, Apostle Huey L. Rogers, to all of our precious uh, leaders and our bishops, our district elders, our missionaries, hallelujah, to all of the precious women of God and men of God that have gathered in this place on tonight. We thank God that he has allowed us just to assemble ourselves one more time. We thank God for the conference theme of adjust to advance. We praise God for the vision of our presider as Elder Michael Rogers put it so profoundly we bless God that the Lord uses him to give us those things that we need to progress those things that we need to move forward in the Lord I'm just going to hold up the scripture Genesis 1 excuse me Genesis 12 1 through 3 and it was read but let me read it again now the Lord has said unto Abram get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee and I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee, and in thee all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Let's just take a very quick look at the summary of the text. There's so much in here, we don't have time to go through it all, but let me just highlight some things. The scripture deals with the calling of Abraham. God commands him to leave that which was familiar and comfortable to him. Hallelujah. He commands him to journey into a land hallelujah that he did not know where he was going. He didn't know what he was going to find when he get there but he just, the Lord just wanted him to trust him. Hallelujah. And we know that God had, excuse me Abraham had to make some adjustments so that he could be fulfilled God's purpose and plan in his life. First, he had to leave his country, the place of his birth. He had to leave his relatives and those that he was associated with. He had to leave his father's house, his place of security and safety, to go to a place that he did not even know. As a result of his obedience to God, he gained more than he lost. Isn't it wonderful to know that we serve a God, hallelujah, that whenever God instructs us to give up something, we got, he's going to always bless us with more. Hallelujah. God asked him to take a journey that would lead him to his destiny, promising that he would make him a great nation. He would bless him. He would be blessed. He's going to make his name uh, great. He was going to bless them that bless him and curse them that curse him. And then he was going to be a blessing to all the people of the earth was going to be blessed through him. So we understand that through the scriptures that Abraham went, hallelujah, as God had instructed him and because he obeyed and he went and he stepped out on faith, which leads me to the thought that I want to talk to you about tonight. Hallelujah, and it's called stepping out with a promise. Look at somebody and say, I'm stepping out with a promise. Hallelujah. You can get glad on that all by yourself. Hallelujah. Because you know the one that promises. As with the life of Abraham, when God calls us to ministry in whatever capacity that that may be, there's always 
always conditions that we must meet. The condition of obedience, the, the condition of faith, the condition of trust, belief, separation, commitment, dedication, and total surrender to the will of God. When Abraham stepped out and obeyed the commandments that was given, he stepped out with promises from God. Hallelujah. So in order for us, his people in this day, in this time, for such a time as this, oh my God, in order for us to reach our destiny and purpose in God, it requires us to move or make some adjustments in our lives. It requires us to move from our place of comfort, to move from our place of security, to move from our place of insecurity, hallelujah, to move from our places of doubt and fear, to move from our places that I'm not good enough, hallelujah, those things we've got to move away from and so that God can get all of the glory, hallelujah, when we read about the story of Ruth, hallelujah, how she followed her mother-in-law into a foreign country, she went leaving everything that she had had for something more significant than anything she ever imagined. Her story teaches us that God will use unlikely people to fulfill his promises and his purposes. It assures us that there is a hope in the most devastating times of our life that our no matter what our past has been, no matter what our present looks like, hallelujah, it has nothing to do with what God has already predestined for us for he knows his thoughts he knows his plans that he has for us plans that are not of evil but plans to give us an expected end by stepping out Esther courageous act saved her people from destruction her story reminds us that stepping out of our place of comfort and standing up for what is right can lead to life changing even Moses stepping out of his place of comfort and embracing the, the role that God had given him led the Israelites through the Red Sea. Hallelujah, my God. His story demonstrates that despite our insecurities, our self-doubt, self that God can use us to accomplish great things when we step out in faith uh -huh, and obedience. My God. One more, one more. Uh, Peter was known as his impulsive nature and tendency to act without thinking. But when the Lord called him, Jesus called him to step out on the water. Hallelujah. It was his faith that was tested. Hallelujah. My God. His story. My God. Hallelujah. My God. His story reminds us that even in our weakness, hallelujah, God can use us. Hallelujah. And use our a willingness to step out to accomplish his purpose. My God, these were just a few examples of stepping out, hallelujah, my God, and receiving, hallelujah, the promises of God, hallelujah, because if we trust him with all of our heart and not lean to our own understanding and to our own, other, our own intellect, it is him that will, uh, that's a promise, that will direct our path. So, so I want to make the word very personal today because I find that as I get older, I need to make it apply to me. So I said my thought was stepping out with a promise. So let me change that and say I'm stepping out with a promise. Hallelujah. You can make it personal. Look at your neighbor and say I'm stepping out with a promise. Hallelujah. My God. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20 says, for the promises of God in him are yes and amen to the glory of God through us. When God promises us, hallelujah, it brings glory when his promises are fulfilled in our lives. So my God, in a time like we're living in today, hallelujah, my God, hallelujah, we've got to step out from our places of comfort. We got to step out and let God get the glory out of our lives. We got to step out of complacency. We got to step out of mediocrity. We got to step out and trust the God of our salvation that if he said I'm blessed, I'm already blessed. If he said I'm healed, I'm already healed. If he said I'm delivered, I'm already 
delivered. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what you're going through. The God of my salvation is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can even ask or think according, 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 hallelujah, to his spirit that is already in us. Oh, my God. When God makes a promise, hallelujah, we don't have to fear. We don't have to worry about stepping out because we can trust that God's, hallelujah, Peter said God's promises is precious and they're magnificent. When God makes a promises, here's what should keep you. We know that behind every promise, hallelujah, is the all-knowing, the all-powerful, the unchanging, the God of the universe, the one that stepped out and said, let there be, and everything came into existence. He is the all-sufficient one. My God, he is Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the beginning. He is the end. He is the God that is yet in control. So if he said it, I yes, uh, if he said it, my God, uh, I can step out uh, with an assurance that he is with me. My God, I can step out uh, knowing that I can do all things. Hallelujah, through Christ uh, that strengthens me. Uh, I can step out uh, with the promise that his grace uh, is sufficient. Uh, I can step out uh, knowing, my God, that no weapon uh, formed against me is going to prosper. I don't care whether you like me. I don't care whether you don't like me. But the God I serve is my keeper. The God I serve is my deliverer. The God I serve. Hallelujah, my God. I can step out with a promise, my God, that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can step out with a promise, oh my God, that I don't have to be dismayed because he's my God. Hallelujah, make it personal. Hallelujah, my God. Oh my God, it's him that will strengthen me. It is him, my God, that promises to help me. It is him that upholds me with the right hand of his righteousness. Yes, saints of God. Yes, women of God. Yes, men of God. I'm stepping out with a promise, my God, that if I just wait on the Lord, it is him that will renew my strength, that I would mount up with wings as an eagle. I'm going to run and not be weary. I'm going to walk and I won't faint. Hallelujah. I'm stepping out with the promise, my God. If I seek first his kingdom and all of his righteousness, everything that I need, Lady Bailey, to supply my God to sustain this life. I already have it. Hallelujah, my God. I don't care if there's no money in the bank. Everything that I need, God is going to open up the windows. How they just say, hallelujah, my God. God, I'm stepping out. My God, that if I delight myself in him, he's going to give me the desires of my heart. I'm stepping out with the promise that I'm more than a conqueror. I'm stepping out. That, oh, my God, hallelujah, that all things are working for good. Uh-huh, good or bad, they're working for my good because I love him. And I believe, hallelujah, that I've been called a to his purpose. Yes, look at somebody one more time. Say, I'm stepping out with a promise. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah, I'm stepping out with the promise that the Lord, who is the great I am, the Lord, who is our everlasting Father, the Lord, who is Emmanuel, that he is my shepherd, and I shall want. That's a promise. He, God, maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. That's a promise. Hallelujah. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yay! Do I walk through the valley and the shadow of death? I'm going to fear no but God is with me. Hallelujah. That's a promise. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
not going to fear any evil, for God is with me. It is his rod and his staff that comforts me. Well, that sounds like another promise to me. Hallelujah. He's going to prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In other words, he's going to show me off. Hallelujah. God will show you off. Hallelujah. If you step out on him. Hallelujah. Sounds like another promise, my God. And then he sums it up, the writer sums it up and says, surely goodness and mercy. Hallelujah, surely goodness and mercy. Surely goodness and mercy. Hallelujah, it's gonna follow me. Surely goodness and mercy. Surely goodness and mercy. It's gonna follow me. Hallelujah, my God all the days of my life. And then my promise to the Lord is I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, my God. I'm stepping out with a promise, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That if I hearken unto the voice of the Lord, hallelujah, and keep his commandments, be obedient to his word. He tells me that all these blessings, uh -huh, I'm gonna overtake. Do you understand what it means for something to overtake you? It's going to run you down. Hey, God, you ever been in a race and you thought you were in first place and then all of a sudden another runner comes right behind you and they run you down and run past? Well, that's what the blessings of the Lord is going to do in your life. Yes, I, hallelujah, my God is stepping out. Hallelujah, it's time for us to step out, saints of God. Jesus is soon to return. Time, hallelujah, to stop playing in church. It's time, my God, to be about God's business. Hallelujah, as missionaries, it's time to step out. Hallelujah, and let your light show shine, my God, that men may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. It's time to step out, my God, and be those living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God which is our reasonable service. Yes, I'm stepping out. Let me end with this. I'm stepping out with the words of the song that says, I am what God says I am. Hallelujah, my God. Oh, I can be what God says I can be. Hallelujah, my God. Be all that God says that I can be. I am the head and not to tell. I am above, hallelujah, and not beneath. I'm blessed when I come in, blessed when I go out. I'm blessed whether you like me. I'm blessed whether you don't like me. I'm just blessed, hallelujah, because that is the God that I serve, hallelujah. We've got to stand on God's promises, and we've got to step out, hallelujah, in faith. It's time out to stop talking it. It's time to live it. It's time to be about it. In the name of Jesus, I love you all with the love of the Lord. I hope that something was said that blessed your heart. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. Let's give God a praise as we tell the Lord, as we make a promise unto him. Lord, I'm stepping out. Oh, God, with your promises. I'm stepping out. Believe in you, my God. I'm stepping out because I have faith, my God. And all you need is a little bit of faith, the size, the grain of a mustard seed. And you can speak to every mountain in your life. And I'm a witness that God, hallelujah, will bring it all out. Hallelujah. God bless you. And I love you all. you be seated in his presence. Truly tonight we have heard from the Lord. This vessel of honor has both challenged and charged us. Oh, tell somebody I feel challenged tonight. 
you got to move out of your comfort zone and step out on the promise of God. God bless Mother Barbara and Doc. Missionaries, let's bless God for our international president, this anointed woman of God. What a timely word. Thank you, Jesus. I think I can speak for everybody in this place. From January 1st up until now. It's been a challenge for you. If it hasn't been one thing, it's been another. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We've had issues financial difficulty to dealing with grief. Somebody shout, but God. I would have fainted unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Pray for me this evening. They tell me that pride is a sin. Pray for me and forgive me because I'm very proud of Mother Dunham all this I want to say yes, the international pastor of this great church called Bible Way that it never ceases to amaze me the wealth and the depth of gifting that God has placed in Bible Way. Praise God. Amen. You'll see what I'm talking about as the week unfolds. I want to thank God for all of our missionary administrative staff. Praise the Lord to our vice presidents. somebody and tell them we're off to a good start. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Dr. Witter gave us a very arousing welcome. Amen. By the time our national minister of music, Lady Richardson, got finished with worship, I was already welcome. Can you say amen? of starting on time and she obeyed those edicts and requests from her presider and I was so insistent that she start on time until I pulled myself out of retirement I know you were shocked when you walked in here and saw me on the organ uh, Dr. Simmons uh, I don't know when I played in a convocation, uh, it took me back some 50 years. Don't look at me like that. I was a boy musician. <laughs> and um, amen, the very first time I played in the Holy Convocation, but I want to thank God for the anointing that was in this place when I walked in the room. Missionaries, you look so wonderful, arrayed in your white with your turquoise accessories. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. I'm uh, a missionary as well. I know y'all didn't think there were male missionaries, but the greatest missionary in the scriptures was a man by the name of Apostle Paul. And we don't ever want to get to a place in ministry where we genderize the things of God. Can you say amen? Amen. Tonight, our president proved to us that God can use a woman. 
I said, our president proved to us tonight that God, he says, upon my sons and daughters, I'll pour out my spirit. And as a result of that spirit being pointed out, both of them will prophesy. That word is not, does not speak of the gift of prophecy. That's the ministry. Of, that means to foretell. That's what I do every Sunday. Amen. So we commend you, praise the Lord, on such a powerful message. I know I said it three times already, but that's just how much impact you have made. And so I stand here tonight to support the work of our missions department. I mentioned to Mother Dunham upon my appointment were certain things that I expected of the International Missions Department and as wonderfully as you all are arrayed tonight it was more important to me what you do than how you look and so I challenged her to find and identify missions both domestic and abroad she has picked up the gauntlet and we will very shortly disclose to you uh, those missions that have already been activated so that you can see that by the way worldwide is not just the ministry of word but a ministry of deed speaking of our missions uh, abroad we're certainly blessed to have Bishop and First Lady of our Liberian Diocese with us on tonight. God bless you, Bishop Nimley. God bless you, Lady Nimley, all the way from Monrovia, Liberia, West Africa. I would venture to say they came the furthest uh, to be in holy congregation. And if the Lord says the same, it is our intention uh, to share with them in the year 2024. And you missionaries, praise God, that are not afraid. Because it's easy to minister here and when you, amen, decide to get on a plane and, and brave those 14 hours or more. Amen. And travel with me uh, to do uh, missions work. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could sponsor Mother Dunham on our African missions trip with the presiding bishop? Amen. It would be strange for me to go on a missions trip without a missionary. And so I'm going to ask that you would help me tonight in instigating that sponsorship of our international missionary president. This is the first night of the feast, and I know that some of you have already earmarked your money for that beautiful mall across the street. I know some of you already earmarked your money for the fine dining institutions in this region. Some of you already done smoked them out. You done already found the Cheesecake Factory, Maggiano's, and Capitol Grill. Oh yeah, y'all went around the corner to the Louisiana Bistro, and y'all just been enjoying yourself. But touch your neighbor and tell them, trust me, the saints haven't spent all their money yet. I'm going to ask in the name of the Lord that you would join your presiding bishop. I'm going to instigate this offer. $166 significant of the years that God has kept Bible way it was a man in 1957 I was just a young toddler at the age of three when Bible way was first instigated by our chief apostle Smallwood Williams and the other four 
giants of the apostolic faith that stood by him, the Honorable Bishop John S. Beam, Bishop McKinley Williams, Bishop W.A. Showell, Bishop Joseph Moore, and so on. I ask that each of you tonight that can get a $66 gift in your hand as quick as you can. Those who will stand with the presiding bishop in this first initial act of worship of our holy convocation, our 66 holy convocation, get that in your hand as soon as you can. Ways to give. Amen are as follows. If you're giving by cash app, Amen. Make that out to Bible Way. The 1957. That's dollar sign. Bible Way. 1957. Amen. Praise the Lord. Most of you give that way. And then the rest of you that are giving. Amen. Currency. Amen. Cash or check. Make those checks payable to the Bible Way Church worldwide amen bww will suffice in jesus name if you don't have the 66 i'm gonna ask that you get as close as you can amen 60 will do fine amen if you don't have the 60 praise god amen get the 50 praise the lord i'm not going to auction off the things of god tonight but i want you to get as close as you can and those of you that would honor God tonight, get your very best gift for when you give the best of your service. That's when the master says, well done. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing, whether you have a dime or a dollar. Let's honor the Lord. Let's bless his name. Praise God. Your hands are lifted and so are your hearts. Our God and Father, we thank you for this powerful word. And we heed and obey. We will step out on the promises of your word. We pray that you'd bless the missionary department and its leadership. So that we might impact this world as we are just to advance in Jesus name and the people said amen remain standing you're in the hands of our ushers be directed as they shall instruct you starting from the rear and making your way down God bless you in Jesus name he's a mighty God you don't know what he's done for me yes Gave me a victory. Somebody say, I love him. I love him. I really love the Lord. Somebody sing it. You don't know what he's done for me. What did he do? He gave me the victory. I love him. I love him. I really love him. Let's take it from the top. Lift those hands and wave them and sing, I really, I really love, love.
if you love him, then praise him like you do. Oh, my, 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 my. I got a few observations to make. But before we do, I'm going to ask that our chief apostle will come. Let's start praising God as he comes. This great man of power, you want to stay here? That's fine. We always want to give him the honor that he's due. This man who has led us for close to 30 years as the presiding bishop of this church. Praise God for our chief apostle in Jesus. Somebody give God the best praise you got. Find three people, shake their hand like you're going to shake it off as I'm stepping out. I'm stepping out. Now find somebody that's better looking than you. High five them and say, I'm out. The steps of a good man or woman is ordered. I can't believe that we've had church and it's just 8.30. I don't know. Would you, would somebody wake me up? Is this, is this by the way? We used to be starting at 8.30. Put your arm around your neighbor and say, let's stay like this.